Shalom, shalom, shalom. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shalom, everybody. Well, we're up again for another session. And I believe in the presence of God. And uh, I'm just looking forward to today. I'm not, know what, I don't know what's going to happen. Only God knows that. And that's why I can look forward to something great. Amen. That's going to happen in our, in our live, Facebook live. Praise God. Welcome, James Krause, my friend. My school friend, we were together in Forum to Work School. My buddy, James Krause, welcome. More people are coming up now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Got some back, background mouth music going. I'll put it a bit softer just now. Welcome, Susan Van Vieren. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Welcome, Fanny Van Vieren. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm, Ex-colleagues of mine in uh, South African Police Force. Uh, welcome, Sarah, a member of Antioch House of Prayer. Welcome, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Welcome, Christine de Bring. Um, how are you? Send by the gods to your hubby and your children. Amen. Praise God. Just some music in the background, but I will put the, them a little bit softer just now as we're just waiting for more people to come up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Susan Favirin. Yeah, we are ready for some Holy Spirit fire. Praise the Lord. Welcome, Johan Waldeck. Praise God, uh, my ex-colleague uh, in the South African Police Force, South Africa. Johan prayed for me the other day and God touched me. Thank you, Johan. God bless you, my dear brother. Goodbye. God bless you. Amen. I'm looking forward to today. Already many people are coming up right now. Welcome, Puspa, all the way from Aya Tower. Welcome. Praise God. Praise God. Welcome, Danny Christian or from Jakarta. Denny, welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Amen. Welcome. The Lord bless you. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Hello, hello. Uh, Prasna Kamar. Uh, welcome, my dear brother. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce your name correctly. Amen. But welcome. Let me just put this a bit softer now. As we are going to go into the Word of God uh, in a short while. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Okay, we just wait for a while. Hello, Dar Henny. Praise the Hera. How are you, Dar Henny de Bring, uh, South Africa. How are you? Welcome, Samboy Snoopy from Taiwan, if I can remember correctly. It's the last time I met you there. Uh, welcome. God bless you. Welcome, Anton Indrawata. Welcome. Praise the Lord. Welcome. God is good. Amen. Uh, we're still waiting for people to come up right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. Amen. Yes, Lord. God is good. Welcome, my wife, uh, Oni Becker from Jakarta. Welcome. Oh, look at all this love that I get from her. I love you, my dear wife. God bless you. Thank you. Such a powerful prayer. Pray for me just before I came up. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. More, more people are coming up. We're gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm I just know we're gonna have a good time. Amen. Because God never disappoints us, isn't it? Don't you think we are just serving an incredible, wonderful, merciful God? Amen. Even in the midst of all these uh, things that is uh, happening at this moment in time, it doesn't matter. Amen. We serve a good God, and He'll always be a good God. Hallelujah. Um, welcome, uh, uh, Sierra. Sierra, there. Welcome, Danny, once again. Uh, hallelujah. From Jakarta, praise God. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. Um, yes. Welcome, Tungai Siahan. Praise the Lord. Welcome, 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 welcome. Praise God. My family there from Medan. We uh, welcome you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Gesien, is hy wat die woord van God bring. Amen. Dis die waarheid, uh, Johan Waldek. Praise the Heere. Gesien te sê, well, I receive the blessing of the Lord. Amen. God is good. Well, uh, in the meantime, please, uh, we so more and more people are coming up, and I thank God for that. Welcome, Ma, uh, Mia Rim. I think it's from Indonesia there. Uh, let's, let's turn to the book of Mark, chapter number 14. Mark, chapter number 14. Mark, chapter number 14. Mark, chapter number 14. Hallelujah. Can we go to the book of Mark chapter number 14? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Mark chapter number 14. And we'll be reading there from verse number 32 onwards. 
uh, from verse 32 to verse number 42. Amen. Verse number from verse 32 to verse number 42. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God is a good God. Are you with me? Amen. Okay, I think I can start right now. Um, praise the Lord. Let me just put this. Yeah, okay, this is hallelujah in the background there. So yeah, praise God. God is good and God will always be good. Amen. Welcome, Shanae from South Africa. And uh, yeah, we'll be reading from Mark chapter number 14. Uh, verse number 32 to 42. Welcome, Shanae, all the way from uh, South Africa. Ah, praise God. All right. All right, all right. Praise the Lord. So, are you are you all ready? Are you all ready? We're going to have a, a nice time with God. And, uh, well, it's time for Passover. Yes, I made it. Yes, Shanae, you did. <laughs> it's time for Passover. And, uh, and uh, there's, uh, there's some significant, prophetic significance of this whole thing today. I mean, l let me just say to you in this time of period right now where Israel, uh, uh, concerning Israel, um, let me say this to you. It's that um, for the first time in, in the history of the nation of Israel, this is the second time they are in a lockup. A couple of weeks ago, the uh, Prime Minister announced that there's a lockup in Israel. And the only other lockup was when they were in Egypt, before they were uh, taken out and uh, freed. But God set ten plagues there uh, to to free them, Amen. And to and Pharaoh's heart was hardened and all. But it's 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 very interesting that this is only the second time that the nation of Israel, the first time they had to lock their doors, put the blood on on their on their thing, and then they had to stay inside, Amen. And today it's the same thing; they are locked up again, Amen. As the rest of the world is locked up, so something is about to happen. I'm telling you right now. Welcome, my dear mother from South Africa, Mari Becker. Welcome, my mom. Oh, I love you, mommy. God bless you. Amen. So let's read from the book of Mark, uh, chapter number 14. And let's read there from verse number 32. Then they came to the place which was named uh, Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. And he took Peter, James and John with him. And he began to be troubled and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death stay here and watch. He went a little further and fell on the ground and prayed that it will be possible the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. Then he came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep, for their eyes were heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. Then he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? It's... It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is being portrayed into the hands of the sinner. Rise, let us be going. See, my portrayal is at hand. Hallelujah. Welcome, Christine Potter. Well, okay, praise the Lord. Now, let's look at this portion of Scripture. And uh, <clears throat> this is uh, the, uh, the prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. I've been to the Garden of Gethsemane around about nine times before in my life. And uh, really, there's such an anointing at that particular garden. And uh, and I was at the point, uh, they, you know, those um, olive trees are still there. They reckon that was in the time of Jesus still there. Those olive trees dated back about 3,000 years and so forth. <clears throat> so I took a lot of Indonesian groups uh, at the time. Goeie, uh, good morning, Gert Meber, goeiemorgen. Praise the Lord, yes. So I took a lot of Indonesian groups uh, in the past to to as the spiritual leader uh, to go to the nation of Israel. And we were at this particular place at, uh, at the rock where Jesus prayed also and then the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, let's look at this for a while because this is what's been happening around about now 2,000 years ago. Amen. So uh, they say, we see, we see here that Jesus uh, came to the place called Gethsemane and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took three disciples with him. 
Amen. Uh, uh, James, John, and, and, and uh, 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 Peter, James, and John, the, uh, the two sons of Zebedee. Uh, he, he took them with, with, with him, and he, he, he went up a little, and he said to them, Sit here, watch, while I go a bit further, and go and pray. So this was the night before Jesus would be captured, or that night Jesus would be captured, actually would be locked up and, and all kinds of things was going to start to happen, which was prophesied and what Jesus came to do for us. Amen. But now we see here something very interesting. And we see that Jesus said to them, watch. And he went and prayed. Now, let me talk to you for a little while. Have you ever prayed and asked God for certain things in your life? And it seems that God is late. Come on, you can be honest. You can be honest. I have had that feeling many times. I ask God to come through for me in a certain time. I ask God to give that to me. And, you know, all kinds of things. been asking God certain uh, 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 requests through my prayer and all that. And, uh, and, when it, and when it comes to the time for uh, God now to deliver that which I have asked him to, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. I mean, I, I don't. And then I thought, OK, you know, you're thinking of perhaps God, you know, uh, uh, it, God's timing is always the best. And, but it, it's, it is a little bit of a disappointment that has been left in your heart at that moment in time because you are thinking that God does not answer my prayer. And, uh, and what, what is the reason for this? You know, maybe I pray wrong. Maybe there's sin in my life. Well, that, that could also prevent, pre pre prevent a pre uh, answer from God. In fact, you've got to repent of, of things that stand between you and God differently. But anyhow, so you, you, you have a lot of questions within your heart concerning, concerning these matters. And you, you are wondering, you know, what, what happened? Why, why God doesn't answer my prayer? Have you ever had that thing? Come on, be honest. Have you ever had that, um, uh, that feeling in your heart that, uh, oh, 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 Lord, you, you, you didn't really answer what I asked you and, and so forth. And I, I, I think I prayed the correct prayer. Welcome, Iria. And all that. And, uh, you know, you're, you're thinking of, of, of that. And so wh what's happening? Why, why didn't God? And you start to investigate in yourself. You look at yourself and all that. But let me, let me say this to you. Many years ago, the Lord spoke to me concerning this particular matter about, uh, 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 that and, and God just said to me that there's a way uh, 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 for me to answer your prayer much quicker. You want to know what that is? And it's all written in this uh, in this scripture here. Amen. So let's 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 look at this for a while. And uh, and um, we we see here uh, that 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 Jesus said to his disciples, "Stay here. I'm going to pray." And we see the prayer of the Lord. I mean, look at this prayer. He says, Abba Father, all things are possible for you. All things are possible for you. Welcome, Anya, my daughter. All things are possible for you. That's what Jesus prayer. Take this cup away from me. This cup away from me means this is what is going to happen now. But then he said the same thing. Nevertheless. Not what I will, but what you will. This is the key here. Not what I will. We, you know, all things are possible for God. That is the truth. All things are possible for God. God created this universe. God created everything that you and I know about. I mean, everything is possible for him. But when we look at this uh, prayer of Jesus, and Jesus was in distress here. The Bible says that here. Uh, he, he was, he, I mean, because he knows the hour is going to come. Now, let me say this to you. My, my, my thinking is like this. Um, Jesus knew that for the first time ever, for the first time ever, there's going to be a separation between him and father. He knew that. He knew that when he's going to be on the cross, he's going to take all the sin and uh, sickness and diseases and 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 uh, and virus uh, he's going to take it upon himself 2000 years ago jesus already took this coronavirus on him he already took it so he 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 was uh, he, he knew but what happened was at that moment in time jesus was thinking about one thing 
Now, we do not know the extent of the love of Father towards Jesus, Jesus towards Father, Holy Spirit towards Jesus, Holy Spirit towards Father, vice versa. We, we, we do not know that the love that they have for one another. It must be incredible. It's above our understanding. They have always been together from the very beginning. God the Father was there. God the Son, Jesus Christ was there. And God the Holy Spirit was there. From the very beginning. Amen. Now, for the first time in their existence, and we don't know how long God has been existing. He's been existing for all eternity. Backwards. He's going to be ex ex existing for all eternity forward. For the first time, there's going to be a separation because of your sin, my sin. Because of your sickness, my sickness. Because of your disease, my disease. And because of virus that's going to be placed upon him. All the bad sickness and diseases and the sin of men is going to be placed on Jesus somehow or another. At the moment in time, he's going to bear it all. He's going to take it all. He is taking your sin, your sickness, your disease. He's taking it. He's taking it. He's going to take it all. And we know that he's going to scream on that cross. My God, my God, why have thy forsaken me? We don't know what happened there. Did God turn his back on Jesus? Because something must have happened for Jesus to scream that, my God, why have thy forsaken me? I think it must have been the most emotional thing ever in existence of mankind and everything that God created. The most emotional thing. My God, my God, why have thy forsaken me? Screaming from the Son of God, Jesus the Christ. Your name was on his mind at that moment in time. Your sickness was upon him. Your diseases was upon him. Your shortcomings was upon him. Everything wrong was upon him. Coronavirus was upon him. At that moment in time, he took it all. All the filthy sin that you can think of, he took it all. Nothing. No sin. It doesn't matter what it is. Has hide it. It's all been placed upon him somewhere. Somehow. Now this is why he, he prayed. Abba Father. All things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless. Not what I will. But what your will. Amen. This is the most incredible prayer that we can pray. Sometimes we're going through a very difficult situation. The world is going through a difficult situation right now. And we are praying all things are possible for God. God, take away this cup. God, take away this. We don't want to go through this. We don't want to be in lockup. We want to go out there. We want to be free. We want to continue with our life. Lord God, take this cup away from us. But nevertheless, not my will, not our will, but your will be done, dear God. Oh. The fire of the Holy Spirit is burning strongly inside of me right now. Come on. Say Amen. Now look at this. Verse number 37. Then he came and found them sleeping and said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour? So Jesus looking at Simon Peter. He came back and they're all sleeping. He asked him to watch. I mean, he's in distress. They're sleeping. Having a nice, uh, like a bath in Indonesia. Oh, they enjoy Tidur, Tidur. Having a nice sleep there. Jesus came, Simon, can you not watch with me one hour? It's interesting that Jesus said, can you not pray with me one hour? He said, can you not watch with me one hour? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Then he said, in verse 38, then he said like this, watch and pray. Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is Willing, but the flesh is work, uh, weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Listen to me. Your spirit always wants to pray. This body is not you. You, you are inside this body. This is only your vessel. You're, you are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in a body. That's how you are. That's who you are. Amen. 
So this spirit is willing. This spirit wants to get up early in the hours of the morning and pray. This spirit wants to do Bible study. This spirit wants to seek the face of God. But this body wants to sleep. How many times you've had this, uh, this fighting between spirit and, 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 and body? Come on, come on. Early in the morning, 4 o'clock, you wake up and you have this desire to, to, to pray. But, but the, the body is so tired and the body says, hey, 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 I want to sleep right now. The spirit said, no, we've got to see God. God has got some news for us. God has got something to reveal to us. God has got something for us. Come on, we, 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 are, we, have, got to, we have got to get up. But he said, hey, what's wrong with you, la? Go and sleep, man. Come on, come on. Go and sleep. Spirit says, no. You see, there's always this fighting between spirit and body. Now, listen to me. If you spent a lot of time in God's word, if you spend a lot of time in God's word, your spirit will be strong and will be able to dominate your body. But if you spend a lot of time in other stuff, and you're uh, you know, watching TV most of the time, playing games most of the time, whatever the case might be, and not really seeking God and all that, your body is going to be the strong one. Because you're feeding your body with all this kind of thing. Your soul's dimension. But we've got to feed the spirit, amen, with the word of God. Now look, watch him pray. Now, 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 now. Again, he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again. For their eyes were heavy and they did not know what to answer him. I would not know what to answer him, to him if you come back for the third time and I'm still sleeping. After you ask me twice, three times, hey, why are you still sleeping? Now look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. The Bible says watch and pray. Many times, that's what we do. That's what we don't do, I mean. We know how to pray. Oh boy. We know how to pray. Every person that's looking at this broadcast, every person that's online right now, everyone knows how to pray. Everyone. No one needs to teach you how to pray. But let me say one thing to each and every one of you. But only a few people know how to watch. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. We see in Luke chapter number 22 from verse 49 to 51. The same story. But yeah, we see that as Jesus arise, uh, the high priest and the people that came to arrest him and the arresting officer's name was Malchus. So Malchus came to arrest Jesus. And at that moment in time, Peter took out his sword. Now, this was kind of in the evening already, late, late afternoon. So Peter took out his sword and he chopped off the ear of Malchus. The arresting officer. Trying to protect the Lord. He's the one sleeping just now. But anyhow. So what happened? Jesus healed the ear. He healed it. Put it back again. He healed the ear. Right there. Right at that moment in time. Now. If Jesus didn't heal Malchus' ear. Listen to me carefully now. Here comes the revelation. If Jesus didn't hear heal Malchus' ear, Peter would have been arrested because this is, this is a VIP person. And most probably, people would have been stoned to death or he would have been placed in the prison for a very long time. But Jesus destroyed the evidence by healing Malchus' ear. Now, if Jesus didn't do that, you and I would not have one and two Peter today in the Bible. Peter would not stand on the day of Pentecost and preach over 3,000 people will come to repentance. Why did Peter act so irresponsible? Because he didn't watch. He was sleeping. At that moment in time, if he was 
watching and, and, and keeping a watch. Not, not to protect Jesus by praying as well, but watch and, and, and hear what the Holy Spirit wants to say to him. I believe God would have revealed to him, Peter, they are going to arrest the Lord. You must do nothing. But because he didn't watch, he didn't know what to do and he, he acted irresponsibility and cutting off the ear of Malchus, Jesus had to quickly put the ear back, heal the man so that Peter, Peter will not be arrested. You see, this is our problem. We know how to pray, but we don't know how to watch. We don't know how to sit and wait for uh, that which we are praying for the Holy Spirit to 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 to, to open up uh, the Holy. To, I mean, to open up and, and to speak to us, illumination our mind. I mean, couldn't I couldn't get the word out? But we we you know this is the thing we cannot. We pray and 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 we go on and pray and pray like crazy. And at the end of the day, we say Amen. And off we go. And God is looking and say, excuse me, what about me? You have been set, stating your case and you've been praying. What about me? Don't you want to hear my answer? You see, this is the thing here. And this is what I have been practicing in my life. I go and after prayer, I'll be waiting upon the Lord. This is my watch time to hear what God will say to me. I'll be waiting upon the Lord. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is the watch. God wants to, you can, you maybe pray for your son. Let's make an example. You're praying for your son. You're praying for your daughter. And you're going on and you're praying, you're praying, you're praying. And you fight the fight and you, uh, you know, you, you just do your prayer and you go. And all that. But God wanted to reveal to you, hey, your son and your daughter is busy doing this. I remember, and I, I, I know my son will not mind, I won't say which one. But one of my sons once, I was praying a, a, a one day and, 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 and many years ago. And I was, I was watching and waiting upon the Lord. I was praying for my, my children at that moment in time. And the Lord, as I was watching, the Lord said to me, uh, uh, said to me, Freki son, your son is watching pornography, the magazines. That time was not really internet as we know it today. He's watching porn. Under his bed, the Lord told me, under his bed there's a magazine. So I waited for him to come back to, from school and I said to him, come, uh, I want to talk to you in your room. And, and, and we were just chatting a little bit and I said to him, uh, can you lift up your, 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 your mattress? Why, 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 Papa? I mean, we're speaking Afrikaans, but now. Why, Papa, why, why? He said, no, no, lift up your mattress, lift up your mattress. And he did, and there was the book there, as God told me. And I could deal with my son at that moment in time and pray for him and all. Amen. And, and maybe prevented him to be a, a lustful person one day, going out and rape a woman and all kinds of things, because that's what pornography do to a man at the end of the day. Now, this is what happened when you watch. God is telling you certain things about your family. God is telling you certain things about your uh, business. <coughs> hey, excuse me. God wants to reveal to you things about your family, your business, your ministry. God wants to reveal many things to you, but you do not know how to watch. You know how to pray, but you don't know how to watch. And many times we don't have answers of our prayer because God wants to reveal his heart to us and we just go. We just don't care. Are you with me today? That's why we need to come to a point where we can wait upon the Lord. He that waits upon me, God will renew our strength as well. Amen. So be still. And then, you know, when, whatever God reveals, you write that down. And you do that. And God will reveal many things to you about what you've been praying. Maybe you'll be asking God for certain things. And God will reveal to you, look, I'm not going to give that to you right now. So you're not going to waste your time and pray more for that kind of thing. Or oh, oh God is going to reveal to you, this is what I want you to do. This in your ministry. This is the next step. You've got to do this. You pray and you pray and you, because not many people are coming. You pray, you don't know what. And God wants to reveal to you what is the reason why people are not coming. And you need to come to a point where you need to sit and watch and hear what God is about to say to you. So you can pray in that direction according to the Holy Spirit. Come on, say amen out there. Come on, give God a hand. Give God a hand wherever you are. Give God a hand. Let's give God the praise offering right now. 
In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Peter didn't watch. He did a stupid thing. He took his sword and he cut off the ear of Malchus. Peter must have been a very good swordsman, I believe. Because that was late evening. If it was me and I take the sword, I would cut off, I would cut Malchus' head in two. Then it would have been a greater miracle for Jesus to put the head together. But at least Peter, Peter just cut the ear off, amen. Now, so listen to me carefully. Peter didn't watch, so he didn't know. That's why he made that mistake. But praise God, Jesus helped him by healing the ear. You see, if we pray and watch, God is going to reveal to you. Don't go out tomorrow at a certain time, but go out on another time. Maybe tomorrow you might be, if you go out tomorrow to buy things at a, at a cafe or buy things at a shop or whatever the case might be, where you're going to buy supplies for your home or whatever. Maybe there's somebody that's got this virus and God is protecting you on this. So the Lord will say to you, no, don't go that time. Go another time. Go, go a bit later. And then you know, you know, I was many times I'm driving down the highway, especially back in South Africa once driving down the highway. And the Lord said to me, stop five minutes. And I, I mean, I was just waiting upon him as I was praying a lot. And at that time, and I waited five minutes exactly because I want to know what, you know, God says five minutes. I will wait five minutes. And then I went off again. And, you know, a couple of kilometers further, there was a big accident, a truck uh, smashed into cars and all kinds of things. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be involved in what well, I would have been involved in that. But the fact of the matter is I was not because I waited five minutes. You see, many times God wants to reveal to you what's going on in your family. Parents, God wants to reveal to you what, why your children is acting that they are acting. Why they do these things. Children, God wants to reveal to you many times why your, your, your father or your mom is not saved yet. You know, so you can pray and sit and die. God wants to talk to you. God wants to reveal to you. In that watching period, you've got to take up the word of God and start to read. And start to read as well. Because God will speak to you through his word. Come on, say amen. Come on, say Amen. God is a good God. Amen. So to, uh, today's message is watch and pray. Prophetically. It's a prophetic message. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. Amen and amen. Whew, God is a good God. Amen. Welcome Adrian Kutsia. Praise the Lord. I haven't seen you for a long time. Praise God. Amen. Let's, let's, let's just pray together. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace, God. As we come to your throne of grace in the wonderful and matchless name of the Lord Jesus the Christ, we thank you, God, for all that you have done for us and for all that you are going to do for us, God. And although, God, we are in the midst of this virus situation that's been hitting planet Earth, and we're going now to, towards Easter, and, and we, we are going to uh, remember what you've done on the cross, Lord God, and, and uh, you went down to hell for three days on the resurrection day, and uh, this is just in such an incredible prophetic time in the calendar of every Christian, Lord God. But, uh, but this time, 2020 Easter, or the Passover, is going to be different. I sense it in my spirit. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. Because for the first time, for the second time, only in the history of the existence of Israel, they are locked up. A couple of weeks ago, the prime minister in, 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 in Israel say, you, uh, you, you are locked up like we are all. The first time was in Egypt. When I had to put the blood there. And plagues came, 10, ten plagues came. We are in the lockup right now. Mm. Isn't that interesting? Israel for the second time. And what happened after that? They were freed. They were free. God's going to do something. Ooh, God's going to do something. I'm telling you right now. Father, we just thank you, Lord God. I pray for every person on this broadcast right now, Lord God. I pray for every person that's going to look, uh, hear this and see this in the later stage, God. I pray, God, that you touch them, heal them, set them free of things that has been bounding them, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that every person will come closer to your heart, come closer to the very heart of God in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. And I thank you, Lord God. 
And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I've got, I had a lot of feedbacks of prophetic words that I've been uttering. And people have come back to me and say, yes, that was me and so forth. So I just want to thank God for it. But I want to say once again, there's some person here right now. There's a person here. And uh, you, have, um, you have a severe back pain. Uh, lower back, lower back. You, you're already in your years. I'm not sure how old you are. But I, I, know, I, I see you in the spirit kind of thing. But I, I can't see your age. But there's a person here and you have severe back pain. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray right now and I declare that back pain. Come in line with God's word. Be healed right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Hallelujah. There's a person that has continuously headaches. Um, you, you, you know, it's like every single day kind of thing. And it comes in the, in the, it's during the day, but it comes more severe at later in the evening as well. And sometimes it's just so, so bad. Like I see yourself, you know, you put a, like a wet cloth over your head like this and you, and you are really, you are really, really troublesome during that time. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring this person that you showed me right now, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I declare her to be completely healed. I, I said to this headache, uh, everything associated with it, depart from her in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ right now. And I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and grace. Be healed in Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You know, a word came to my heart right now. A word, listen to me. A word came to me. And God is saying, the Lord is saying, this is very, very strong in my heart. And I can sense, I can hear his voice. He's saying, don't lose hope. Hope. Don't lose hope, God says. For I am going to change the situation. But the time and a little time must pass first. But don't lose hope, God says. A time and a little time must pass first. But I am going to turn the situation around, the Lord says. These things is have to happen. It is already forewritten before the foundation of this earth. My children are now locked up in their homes. Now I've brought the world to their home through social media so they can minister to them. For the Lord God says, I will never leave and I will never forsake you. And even though this virus has come and made destruction, did destruction in a lot of countries around the world. But the Lord says, I have heard the cry of my people. I have seen the repentance of my people. I have seen my people on their knees. I have seen my people cry to me and ask for mercy. Cry to me and ask for mercy. I have seen my people have repented hearts to me. And that has been touching my heart, God says. But a time and a little time still to go. And this will lift up, God says. A time and a little time to go. And this will lift up, the Lord says. But know this today. That I dearly love you. Come close to me, the Lord says. Hold on to me, God says. For now is the time to build your relationship with me. And it's now is the time to start to hear and to recognize my voice as I will speak with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your mercy and your grace. Thank you, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are a good God and you are a merciful God. Whew. Hallelujah. Listen, people, please, if there's any question, you want to ask me any question, write down now. We have a few minutes. If you want any, if you have any question, I might not answer all of them, but you have any question, write down there. And if you have a prayer request, if you have a prayer request, uh, write it down there. My wife was scolding me last time because I forgot to say that. So if you have a prayer request, please put it down there. And if you have any questions right now, put it down there quickly. I'm just going to have some water. Thank you, Lord. Let me just get some music going. Praise God, praise God. Hello, Luffy from, uh, from Malaysia. Praise. Gladly seek you now. Any questions? Put it down there for me. 
and you pray a request, put it down there now. And please, people, share this. Share this video. Go crazy. Share it. Let this word go out there. Let people can know. I don't consider, I'm not worried about how many people look or, or like at the end of the day. I just want this word out. I just want this word out. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Drini. Master from South Africa, thank you. You'll be blessed too. Amen. Thank you. May you be blessed as well. Amen. We are praying for you and your wife, family. Thank you for your obedience, Iria Group. Thank you so much. God bless you too. Uh, Johan Waldeck, please remember me in your prayer. And my friend, I will do that, Johan, with you, for, for you and your wife and your children. Hallelujah. Me and my wife will pray tonight all these requests. Come on, guys. Put your prayer request there. Any questions? Let me hear. Let me hear. Any questions? Praise God. Praise God. Ah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. A lot of people came up today, amen. Did you enjoy this message? Message, I believe, from the heart of God, amen. Thank you, Anne, for praying for me and my wife and children, grandchildren as well. I have... Um... Hello, Gladys, welcome. No problem, you can, you can listen to this later. Amen. If you have any, uh, please uh, share this, share this. Share this all and put your prayer request in. Well, anyhow, I'm going to go now. I thank you. And uh, we have a meeting tomorrow, special Good Friday meeting, uh, Friday at 6 p.m. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. on on again. And then on uh, Sunday at 12 noon, 12, 12 a.m. Uh, in the afternoon, 11, 11.55 a.m. I'll be up 11.55 a.m. on Sunday. And then also Monday at 6 p.m. Monday at 6 p.m. Again, Monday at 6 p.m. Again. I mean, we're gonna, we just gonna look prophetically on this whole Passover thing, this whole uh, 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 death of the Lord and the resurrection and what happened. And I, I just got some revelation that I like to share with you concerning this particular uh, topic. Amen. Thank you, Yara. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I love you guys with an everlasting love. The love of Christ is in my heart. Amen. All right, guys, please share this video. Share this broadcast. Come on and uh, put your prayer request there. It doesn't matter how s simple it is or whatever. Just put it there. And also any questions. And I will and I will, uh, and I will uh, answer them. I'm going to go now. I say, Shalom. God bless you. God be with you. God protects you. And God is all around and about you in the mighty name of jesus the christ finally I have a prayer request for the police for christ that the ministry would reach a lot of people for sure as the ex-cop in a south african police for sure i will do that we can pray tonight thank you god bless you bye bye everybody hallelujah glory to god